Um, we wouldn't really have a lot of the achievements and different things that people have made without teachers because they let people learn without having to figure it out just themselves. They have someone to teach them these things so that they don't make all these different mistakes that others have and so that they can go on to do great things. A world without teachers would truly be a dark place because you wouldn't know anything. We didn't know how to count, we wouldn't know the history. It would be a, a Hobbesian place, which we would not know the word Hobbesian if we didn't have teachers, but a constant chaos and war, true darkness. There's no light, because you know we all know that education brings you to enlightenment, it gives you light. So that's what a world without teachers would be. Well, to me personally, I think this world without teachers, it'd be a little chaotic maybe. Yeah, not as assembled. Okay, so a world without teachers would just be a world with just students. And maybe not even that. Uh, I just want to say thank you to all the teachers out there for helping me and other students out there like me. Um, what you're doing or you're really changing and affecting our lives, you have one of the most important jobs because you really have the opportunity to connect with us and influence us emotionally and mentally. So keep doing what you do. We love you and appreciate you. Okay, a world without teachers would be actually pretty lost. I feel teachers would give a lot of guidance to the students, not in just setting, but for them to actually become as a person, like uh, people as a whole. And they're very underrated. Like, teachers give a lot to their students. Like, you don't even know the half of it. Teachers would be very scary because we'd have a lot less intellectual people running this world. I think it would be crazy, like, if a lot of students were like, I don't know, I just think it would be crazy. Uh, this world would be kind of like unorganized, I would like to say, and chaotic because teachers are what kind of guide us and teachers are who kind of set an example for us for what we want to do in the future and like they guide us so that way we can go down the right path to have a successful education. It would be a disaster. Students wouldn't be told to do what they do and they'd be all crazy doing whatever they want. Teachers really do a lot to like provide us with information that we need and and try to interpret like the facts and whatnot. We wouldn't, if without them, we wouldn't do that ourselves. We'd probably all be stupid, so. It would be very sad and difficult because teachers are always there for you and they, um, they usually go with you go because you guys always have that bond that's inside of you guys. And you should always appreciate that, that you have teachers to teach you and help you graduate and there for your future and are always there for your future. Crazy. That's what it would be. Who's gonna teach us? You know? Kids were teachers. They would be like, they would teach us stuff. They're teachers. Mm, we crazy. And then teachers are like, they're the people that teach us. That's why they're called teachers. You know? Students aren't called. They're supposed to be like. They're supposed to dance. They're student dance. And that's why they're called students. But teachers teach. And what without teachers, it'll be very hard. You know, we wouldn't be able to learn the way we can, and we wouldn't be able to teach the teachers ourselves. And with that being said, it'll be very difficult putting that teacher in our world. It'd be uh, it'd be confusing. We ain't got no backbone. Be anarchy, anarchy. We ain't got no backbone. No one teaches. No one tell us what to do, what's wrong, what's right, no one to further our education. That's right. Then we gotta have no more teachers. I think it would be a whole bunch of like kids that don't really know nothing. Because like, we wouldn't learn nothing if we didn't have teachers to teach us anything. Um, organized, dumb, and. I don't know. Unorganized, I don't know that. It wouldn't really be a world without teachers, you know? Because like. It would be uneducated. Exactly. The world would not go around because there would be no progress because teachers teach. Uneducated people make mistakes, and with mistakes come consequences. And consequences, you know, prison, death, all kinds of other stuff. So teachers are really important to us. Without teachers, it'd be difficult, hard to learn. Like, I don't know, we won't be able to expand our minds as much as we do without with them. I feel like we would be less informed because teachers, they provide us with the information that we need and also what we want to keep us more informed and if we didn't have them it would almost be like the stone age again. we wouldn't know anything we would only be learning from our experiences and our experiences have obviously led us down a bad path so i feel like the teachers can give us that knowledge to lead us on that good path i 
think it would be pretty like boring in general because teachers don't just like teach you stuff and give you the information that you need to know to move on in life. They also add a bit of like fun into it depending on what kind of teachers you get and what school you go to. So it adds that aspect in there that makes learning more fun and engages students into wanting to learn things, things like that. all of my teachers. I think they're equally as important. Ah, thank you. I'd like to shout out Mr. McFadden because he's been my favorite teacher ever since. Yes, I really love all of my teachers this year, but I especially would like to thank Miss Ankrum for guiding me through my very first um, musical experience. It was so great and I've definitely grown as a person and also as a performer and I'd like to thank you so much Miss Ankrum. I'd like to say thank you to DMAC for making it uh, chemistry fun, and Mr. Garcia for making English fun too. I would especially like to thank Ms. Jennison, who's been a uh, great friends as teacher and a coach, and who has helped me through senior year, and also Mr. Markeich and Mr. Ethan, especially all my humanities teachers who have really helped me grow as a person. I'd like to say thank you to Ms. Brissette for always like being real with all of us and always help, like showing us right from wrong. Yeah, shout out to Mr. Calvillo for being a high beast. Uh, Mrs. Wait, Mr. Verduska when I had him as a teacher, Miss Brissette, Miss Lambell, Mr. Jean, and just all the other ones, but I can't remember the rest of your names, but thank you. I want to say thank you to um, Senora Contreras and um, who else? Who else? And also Miss Hawkins. They've taught me a lot. Um, to Mr. Cameron, because he helped me a lot and stuff. Yeah, shout out to all my Shout out to Ms. Huggins. Shout out to Mr. Garcia. Shout out to Mr. Garcia. Shout out to Ms. Arun. Love her. Uh, yeah, shout out to she don't go here. She was a teacher in my freshman year, I think, but thank you to Ms. Lambert. Yeah, I want to say thank you to my English teacher, Mr. Garcia, because even if I'm not feeling like, if I'm not feeling good today or it's a bad day, whatever, he always makes his jokes in class and makes me cheer up and laugh. Oh, yeah. thank you. Uh, I want to say thank you to uh, Miss Click because like she's always been pushing so much so that way we can have a good education. And I know that even sometimes like she will have like, I want to say like students that aren't cooperative and they kind of stress her out and I just want to thank her for all the time she puts in for us. Aww. Ms. Morales. Why? Because she's cool and she makes sure I turn in my work for all classes. Thanks. One of my teachers that I would like to say thank you is my teacher Ms. Perez because it's an honor to, for her to be my teacher because high school I didn't know what to expect and she really helped me go through it. I want to say thank you to Mr. Garcia, Miss Huggins, Miss Anchor too, and Mr. Taylor for motivating me and everything. I want to thank I want to say thank you to all my teachers. Um, let's see, a couple actually. I would say thank you to um, Mr. Senga and Miss Love because they're both teachers that are sometimes not as good, not as understood, but then they they know what they want for us and what they want us to do. Oh, thank you. To Miss Dill. Why? For helping me out trying to graduate. I have tons, but some of the few I'd love um, that's helped me through a lot would be Michelle Maisie, Bianca Ingram, Jennifer Click. Some of my favorite teachers, and they help me through a lot. Uh, I would want to say thank you to every teacher that gave me that information that I need to keep put me on the right path.